Yeah, it was surprising to see. And, you know, we're dealing with a socialist, perhaps even a communist. If I listened to his speech last night. That was beyond socialism. So I don't know what's going on over there. That was a pretty big victory for him. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump saying that Senator Sanders has socialist views that teeter on communism. Last night at the Democratic debate in Wisconsin, Senator Sanders and Hillary Clinton presented policy proposals that some say blur the lines of political theory. So we're going to explain in a new game called Wheel of Politics, Socialism versus Communism. Our special contestant, Heritage Uber economist, is Steve Moore. Steve, you're a brave man for joining us for this. We are so I'm grateful. I'm a little nervous, but I think I can handle it. All right, here we go. <laughs> you were in the Reagan White House. You saw the communist Soviet Union of the 1980s. How do you define the difference between socialism and communism? Not a lot, not a big difference, actually. I guess uh, communists believe in essentially government owning essentially everything, whereas socialists give, give give stuff away for free. But really, there isn't there isn't much of a sliver of difference between these two isms. All right, the two isms, both aiming for equality, but rarely working in practice, at least from what I have read well, in history that's books. Well put. So like we have that. some clips to go through, Steve. We want to do this like an old fashioned game show. You ready to go? I'm gone. All right. Let's so go. does this clip represent socialism or communism? <laughs> in the last 30 years in this country, there has been a massive transfer of wealth going from the hands of working families into the top one tenth of one percent. And yes, the economy is rigged in favor of those at the top. OK, so Steve, does the anti-rich sentiment remind you more of socialism or communism? of socialism because what socialists believe is a kind of radical redistribution of income. Take from the rich, give to the poor. That's exactly what Hillary uh, and, uh, and Bernie Sanders were talking about. By the way, it's interesting, isn't it, uh, Deirdre, that Hillary is now using exactly the same language as, uh, as you know, when he talk, she talks about the rigged economy. That's exactly what Bernie Sanders has been saying. Well, as many people are saying, Bernie Sanders seems to be pulling Hillary Clinton further <laughs> exactly. to the left. You Here got it. are both candidates on health care. Next clip. In my view, health care is a right of all people, not a privilege, and I will fight for that. I can only say that we both share the goal of universal health care coverage. You know, before it was called uh, Obamacare, it was called Hillary Care. All right, so for a federal health care system, socialist or communist? You know, that has, that has elements of communism because it basically what they're both talking about is the government taking over and running the health care system, which is 14 percent of our economy. I'm going to say that's communism. All right. We like it. We got one and one so far. Now, speaking of costs, the cost of education, a very hot topic. Here are the candidates. We have to look in terms of public education as colleges, as part of public education, making public colleges and universities tuition free. So I, I think, again, both of us share the goal of trying to make college affordable for uh, all young Americans. Uh, and I've set forth a compact that would do just that for debt free tuition. Federal education program, what do you say? I think this is socialism. It's basically saying everything is going to be given to you for free and somebody else is going to pay for it. That is social. Wait, wait does that mean I'm wrong? No, it does not mean you're wrong. We're just timing okay. you. On top of all the pressure and the political theory, we're also timing you, Steve, because we know you're good. You're up for it. But, you know, there's an old saying, by the way, you know, uh, you think health care is expensive now. Wait till it's be given away for free. And, that, you know, if you think college is expensive now, if you give it away for free, the costs are going to go through the well, roof. And there's That's also the whole problem. Example of it not being the most efficient system in the world. Hardly. I mean, all you have to do Hardly. is look at the UK. You have the NHS. You've you have scandals, it. people basically dying, waiting for You've operations. Deirdre, the two standard. industries, the two industries in America where prices are rising the fastest, health care and education and, and the government already plays the biggest role in those two industries or just about any. Why would you want to have a bigger role in government? You want to bring those prices down? Get the government the hell out of get, it. Yeah, get it to be locally focused, which actually you has been it. done on the West Coast with some health care co-ops that seem to be working. Last topic here, Democratic candidates giving their views on government spending. Here they are. Yeah, we can create 13 million jobs by rebuilding our infrastructure at a cost of a trillion dollars. My price tag is about $100 billion a year, and again, paid for. 
And what I have said is, I will not throw us further into debt. I believe I can get the money that I need by taxing the wealthy, by closing loopholes, the things that we are way overdue for doing. All right, taxing the rich, that's what she said, Steve. What is your yeah, take? That's, that, that's socialism. And, and you know, uh, by the way, you're never going to get up enough money from those top 1% to pay for $100 billion of new government programs on top of a $19 trillion national debt. Well said, Steve Moore. You are the best contestant <laughs> on the wheel of politics. You pass with flying colors, socialism yeah. versus yeah. communism. We couldn't be more grateful, Steve Moore. Thank I you so much. I can't wait to compete again. I'm going to study up. <laughs> All right. Awesome.